So the big question everyone asks, if you're not into trading on Betfair, can you turn a profit constantly with very little risk by betting rather than trading and avoid that feeling when you're hit with a bombshell of a huge loss? Well, Betfair talk about responsible gambling, of course, but a very small amount of people who use Betfair can put their hand on their hearts and say they practice responsible gambling. So how can you have some enjoyment and make money consistently without taking a big hit ever? Well, listen on and I'll explain, because it's important that you follow three golden rules. Number one, never ever get involved with laying bets. It's the equivalent of mental torture. It's a rookie problem for newbies. You'll get a string of wins for sure, but the high stakes when you do hit a long price lay, which ends up winning, will give you a blow that will cost you mentally and also wipe out the positive lay bets that you've built up. Don't forget also that laying a bet at a huge price is of no value when you lose. And of course, never ever, and this goes without saying, chase a losing bet. You're just asking for trouble. Number two, you have to have patience. Know that you will have a string of losses, but if you can control that, then the profits will be there for you. And it's all due to mathematics and the law of averages. If you wait long enough, a win will come for you. And number three, play the system at a price you can afford to start with. And when your confidence builds, you can increase your investment over time. So the key here is to do the reverse of laying bets. Instead of laying at huge prices on horses which are 100 to 1 or more, you can take advantage of the crazy way punters bet on the exchange and back outsiders to win. Of course, you may have to hang around for a couple of days sometimes to start getting results. But as we've seen with stats, eventually the wins will come with extreme outsiders and you will make a tidy profit when they do come. Remember, while people offer very poor odds for laying a horse at a big price on the exchange, equally a horse which can be 40 to 1 or 50 to 1 or even lower on the track can always be offered at well over 100 to 1 on Betfair on the exchange. So you're already getting great value for money because on average a 50 to 1 horse on the track SP, which will on average come good every 50 races, can now have a hundred races to return a win and that gives you double the chance and double the value of backing a long price winner. You will get the best prices on a long shot nearer the race as punters scramble to get the best price just before the off. So if you want to get involved with each race, you'll be able to get the best possible price for your long shot or long shots. Because often there will be several horses which are available at 100 to 1 and well over that price in the same race. And what you're doing with this system is to back every horse which is 100 to 1 or over, not every race. Some races, of course, won't have any horses with big prices, so you just leave them alone. What you're doing is backing every horse at 100 to 1 or over. And if you look back at the last week of races throughout the country and abroad, you will find there will be long price winners among them. And you will benefit from a constant return on your money with an expected return on average of about one winner every 50 horses that you back on average. Remember, you're looking to get 100 to 1 on the Betfair exchange for a horse which is trading on the track much lower. And that is the key. There will be more winners of races which have come in at prices ranging from 28 to 1 to 100 to 1, but you will benefit from getting a much higher return which will see your income climbing much higher than your outlay. An example here, Bear Force One, a horse which was 28 to 1 in a race at Newbury, the 3.30, on April the 18th, but it was available on the exchange at 100 to 1. That's huge value. Now, the horse didn't win, but it shows you what markup there is to be had when a horse does eventually win. So long as you stick to what you're doing and keep to the system, more than likely the overall graph of your winnings will climb up higher than before after a series of losses. Don't worry if you go over 100 bets without a win because the law of averages will be tipped in your favour soon after. 
There will be long losing streaks, but from time to time you'll see big shots come in. And sometimes, like in this example, three long price horses came in within a few races of each other. It's a calm and calculated way to increase your income constantly. Okay, you can disregard a horse which is 200 to 1 on the track or higher if you wish because they really are few and far between when they come in to the winner's enclosure. But remember, if you do decide to do that, Sod's Law will see it romp home with odds close to 1,000 to 1. So you may decide that you want to take that gamble now and again. But really, there is no need to. Save your bets for the horses below 200 to 1 on the track, which you can get value for and a much better profit on. Don't forget a 100 to 1 winner on the track can translate to nearly 500 to 1 on the exchange sometimes more. The trend therefore is to see a curve going up and up and even with a long streak of losses the law of averages will kick in and you will start climbing again. So the suggestion would be start with £2 bets. So invest with say £200 to start with and make sure that it's £200 that you can afford to lose because there are no guarantees ever. Always remember that. We are working with mathematics and averages, but sometimes you can be really unlucky. Bear that in mind, but you would be very unlucky indeed if you didn't get a winner out of your first 100 bets. If you want to try out the system, of course, without betting at all, then you can do everything on paper and see how well you do. Try this system. Try the 500 bets challenge and see how well you would have done had you backed horses using this system for real. If you want to spend four or five hours at your computer each day to do this, then you will be able to get best value for your bet. But you can equally go through the card in the morning, place bets on all horses at 100 to 1, or horses which are likely to rise to 100 to 1 on the exchange later in the day, so that when they do hit that price, you will be locked in. If you prefer to look back at your results at the end of the day, that is a good way of doing it. But backing horses is all about getting value, and you could miss out on a much better price on a horse if that horse drifts way above 100 to 1 just before the race. So that's it all explained. If you want to leave your comments below, please do so. But do try it out. It's pretty neat.